Hello, Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Bladder Cancer Treatment Guide. This module is part six of a seven part series on bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is one of the most common cancers, affecting approximately 68,000 adults in the United States each year. Bladder cancer occurs in men more frequently than it does in women, and usually affects older adults, though it can happen at any age. Although it's most common in the bladder, this same type of cancer can occur in other parts of the urinary tract drainage system. About 7 out of every 10 bladder cancers diagnosed start out at an early stage when bladder cancer is highly treatable. However, even early stage bladder cancer may recur in the bladder. For this reason, people with bladder cancer typically need follow-up tests for years after treatment to look for bladder cancer that recurs or advances to a higher stage. In this course, the objective is to help you know how you can cope with having bladder cancer. When you are diagnosed with bladder cancer, it is normal to feel scared, anxious, angry, and sad. It is also normal for you to need help coping with the feelings and changes in your life. To help you cope, you might consider deciding what you want to know. You may want to know every detail, or in some cases you may prefer not to know. Either way, tell your doctor how much to tell you. Sharing your feelings honestly with your loved ones will help give you strength and lessen anxiety. Asking your doctor what to expect will help you prepare for things like surgery scars, hair loss, and other side effects. Talk to your doctor about starting an exercise program. Studies show that being active can help you cope with cancer. Many cancer patients suffer from depression, so talking to your doctor about how you're feeling emotionally can be really beneficial. Ease your stress by putting a plan in place to handle things like if you will need to stay in the hospital, take time off work, or need caring for yourself. Allowing your friends and family to do errands and chores or take you to appointments will also help them feel useful. As much as you feel up to it, keep up your daily life by working or doing activities you enjoy. Eating a variety of nutritious foods and getting enough rest can help you better handle the stress of bladder cancer. Seeing a counselor or joining a support group or online community can help you handle challenges. Ask your doctor to recommend a support group. How much do you know about palliative care? If you have just been diagnosed with an advanced or invasive bladder cancer, palliative care could be part of your treatment plan. The goal of this kind of treatment is not to cure your cancer. The goal is to treat the symptoms and side effects of your cancer in treatment. These treatments include mental, social, and spiritual help. Like hospice, palliative care focuses on patient comfort and support. But palliative care is given much earlier in your diagnosis and is given alongside cancer-fighting treatment. Hospice care happens toward the end of life, when cancer treatments are no longer controlling the disease. Palliative care is a broad treatment that addresses physical symptoms like pain, fatigue, and nausea, emotional symptoms like depression, anxiety, and fear, practical concerns like insurance questions, employment issues and financial worries, spiritual concerns like questioning your faith, trying to understand why this is happening to you, exploring religion and trying to find a sense of peace or acceptance. You can receive palliative care at different places like a hospital, cancer center, your home, or a specialized facility. You will often receive care from a team of specialists. If you have questions about how to include palliative care as part of your cancer treatment, talk to your doctor. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for Part 6 of this 7-part series on bladder cancer, and come back for Part 7.